All right. I've never watched the Talk to a podcast before. And this is a fresh out of the oven episode. Just dropped one day ago. So, uh, you know, let's see if this is like, if this is worth the hype. If you know what I'm saying. And uh, I'll be watching this for a bit and see if it's entertaining or not. All right, let's begin with the episode. I just kind of cut out the intro here. Dang. And then we got Miss Brianna, and then we got Grace, and thank you, Valero, for having okay, us so, up in here again. Yes, these are the hey. guests for today's hey episode. Hey, how we doing? Hey. Long time no see. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Oh, I've never oh seen. She what has. Nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you, you too. I like your outfit. You got like Halloween vibes going. Yeah, on. Halloween vibes, jail vibes, whatever you want. <laughs> Immediately, I have no idea who these people are. We got a gift for you guys. Oh um, yeah. Oh my God, this is so sweet. Wait, so wait, you ready? Yeah. yeah. That was awesome. Oh, I'll try. There we go. On everyone's phone. Oh, they have merch? Talk to her. What's it say? Does it say something? Well, I mean, they. I, I know they to have like. Yeah. Talk okay, yeah. to was a really good name for the podcast. I was. I was very. I might actually go buy one of these. Oh, that's a girl. really good. Thank we you. We had like a few different ones. Like what? What else did there you guys have? There was you get me, and then there was this one. What was the other one? Sweet tea. Sixteen minutes. What, what? Smart ass. Oh, okay. Like you know the fifteen minutes. Yeah, of fame. yeah, yeah. I'm like. <laughs> I like that. Oh, yeah. I like that. <laughs> Honestly, the 15 minutes of fame has lasted a very long time. I, I knew it was. Too. I knew it was. You called it before anybody. Yeah, I shout did. out to you. <laughs> you pulled her out of hiding. I know. That was crazy. <laughs> you really did. I just kind of popped out that day. I know. She just showed up. Yeah. Hey, what's up? Here we go. Okay, immediately, this is this is not very entertaining at all. Like, what, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> <laughs> that was probably one of the best concerts I've been to, too. No, yeah, that was still my favorite day. That was such a good day. Do you guys still live in Tennessee? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're still just out there and you travel? Yeah, whenever it's time to get up and go, we just kind of get on a plane and just Pack carry on. Then we go back home. Wow, and you still live with Grandma? Oh, yeah, of course. Hell Nobody yeah. cooks like her. <laughs> I saw the chicken. You see the chicken? I didn't. I didn't catch Granny's the chicken. Kicking chicken. Yeah, <laughs> Grace, kitchen chicken. chicken. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> you you raising them to eat them? Oh no, I couldn't them? do that. Now okay. my granny's mama, she's. Why does she sit like that, bro? <laughs> what is going on here? It's like ring chicken's heads and like cook them. Oh, I, I thought you meant. She's the only one not wearing shoes. Well. <laughs> I couldn't do that. My granny probably could though. How do you ring a chicken's head? You just cut it off. Like you swing them around until their neck breaks. Wow. Like, it's awful. Are you <laughs> like, watch it. But what the <laughs> fuck are they even talking about? It's like now? the most humane way, I guess, like where they don't suffer. Oh, oh so just having a blast. <laughs> 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 like, swing him a little blast bit. Blast off like, time for time for dinner. And his neck just kind of like snaps in half, then he's just done for. And then he's on the dinner table later. Wow, okay. Mm -hmm. Wait, I'm, Granny I'm does that? No, her mama did. Oh. I never I could got see to meet her, and I'm glad. I couldn't watch a chicken grow up and then eat it. That yeah. make me feel so bad. I'd be like, I watched him grow up, you know? Yeah. <laughs> okay, immediately three minutes into the episode, they're talking about, like, they're talking about chickens. Like, what, what, the, what is going on, bro? It's like cows, too. I couldn't do that either. No. I we just eat them. We don't kill them. No. So how'd you guys meet? <laughs> oh, God. You want to tell us the story of how we met? How we met? Uh, listen, it doesn't really paint me out in the best light. <laughs> <laughs> Not going to lie. It's okay. I was, uh, well, should I take it from here? Yeah, we'll go back and forth. We'll go back and forth. All right, so I uh, I was kind of the, the queen of the tomboys. I was kind of ruling the school. It was fifth grade. And uh, I had all my buddies. I was kind of calling the shots. And then one day in walks Brianna from the city. And uh, bro, bro, bro. Buddies, I was kind of calling the shots. And then one day in walks Brianna. I was kind of calling the shots. And one day in comes Brianna from the city. What the fuck is happening, bro? From the city. And uh, Dude, I knew my rating was over. The main character for so real, I found something I didn't like about her. And that was uh, her flannel. And I told everyone, fuck this girl in the flannel. We're not going to be fucking with her. We're not going to be We're not gonna be entertaining that. And I tried to turn everyone this is, against her. This is, this is negative. Kind of uh, went was the opposite so way. I'm <laughs> <laughs> like ready to make all these new friends. I had my flannel on. I was so excited about it. And then I go to the schoolyard and at fucking recess grace is staring oh across God. like across the schoolyard at me like this and she like she had double d titties already she was already hit puberty <laughs> so young like yeah, she was like already. i thought she was the principal or something i'm like what the f is she gonna fucking kill me and then i was like why doesn't this girl like me and they're like, yeah, this is like gonna, flannel. it's gonna like, be a while we're gonna me. be here so, a while yeah. i'm gonna steal all your friends so what i learned from that don't wear a flannel to school 
<laughs> yeah, don't work. get targeted. <laughs> cool. Yeah, I don't know or what it was. I just had to look for something I didn't like, and I was like, I guess I don't really like her flannel that much. <laughs> <laughs> you wear flannels? flannels? What's that? You wear flannels? I haven't rocked one ever since, just to you know, stay loyal to my word. Right. Yeah. You gotta stand on business right there. Yeah, yeah. yeah I've only seen you in flannel like twice. But then, um, and that, then we weren't friends, and you were in my Facebook messages for a long time. Yeah, trying to reconcile. Yeah, I was, I was like, dude, I feel like talk to us. So like, I feel like we should really like, hang out. I actually love your flannels. <laughs> <laughs> I actually love your flannels. Like, dude, like, I, I don't know, I don't know what I was thinking because like she had all my friends now. So uh, I was like, dude, I feel like we really got to work this out, dude. And uh, I was just Facebook messaging her like a little too much, like. At the time, I didn't know what a uh, restraining order was, but you probably, I probably should have had one. <laughs> you're tough. only ten. Yeah, you're only ten. <laughs> She's not only tough. Okay. Yeah. She just wanted a new friend. Yeah. yeah. And so y'all been friends yeah. for a while. Yeah. Well, and then, then we um, went on a camping trip together because no one else. Maybe this was a little bit more entertaining if I actually we can hang out. And then were. we became. <laughs> probably should be watching this yeah. episode. Yeah. So how long have y'all been? Probably watching one of the other ones. It's almost sixteen years. But this is the one that's brand new. So. Damn. Since we were ten. All right, y'all, big announcement. It's time for the reveal. And no, I'm not talking about Pookie. Now I'm talking about the best offer for this NBA season. In honor of basketball Bro. being back, all new and existing users will get a deposit. There's no way they're about to talk about like fucking like DraftKings or something, bro. What is... It's going to match it. Play better picks all NBA season long. The easiest way to win a thousand times your money. How'd you guys meet? Match it. Play what, first what, time what do you want? What's the sponsor? What High school? What yeah. She moved to my school and started dating one of my friends. Sorry, uh, brother. Sorry, you were. I was like, she's like a bitch. I was like, I'm, I'm not gonna talk to her. See? Me and my other friends said the same thing. I was like, I'm not speaking to her. She's gonna be a bitch. And she thought we were weird. Yeah. <laughs> well, they all talked to my brother, so I was like, these freaking sluts trying to get with my brother, and then. Yeah, we passed him around. <laughs> I was like, I actually like them. Your brother's, your brother's the, the, the rag doll of yeah, the friend group. Yeah, so They went to different <laughs> schools. Doll. And he was, like, texting, like, my whole friend group. Like, we had, like, four or five different girls. And he'd take his turns just going around, like, through all of us. And then they moved. So I was like, well, shit, everybody's done had a brother. So. <laughs> then we got stuck at school one day. And then her and her sister took me and my other friend home. And then we just kind of clicked from there. And then you yeah. became besties. Yeah. And now you guys, I feel like, haven't separated since everything blew up with we the haven't. video we're not going to either yeah <laughs> i can't do anything by myself that's fair we yeah. were the same way when yeah. i first started i said you're coming and we never stopped so wait were you in school <laughs> yeah so it was it was 2020 so mm -hmm. i was gonna take a semester off yeah. and i was like that day i was gonna buy a car because i was like saving all summer to buy a car and it was a stick shift and i cried um you can't drive like, how long I, is that episode now stick shift. it's seven it, minutes it, it actually makes me upset. they haven't said anything Anyways, yet was, when i got there it was a stick shift pretty and i just average. sat there and while, they, while my pretty dad expected. wrote it he's like i can teach you how to do it well, i don't know why i'm telling that part pretty but anyways crazy, i was <laughs> i was gonna did buy a car him? that day i called him did you really call him? i called him okay all right <laughs> I got this thing with my dad. She always has to tell me to call him because we, you know, we don't really get along. Anyways, yeah. Rihanna. <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel like we need anything. I know, dude. Well, anyways, I didn't buy the car that day, but thank God because Brianna called me and she said, "Do you want to move to New York with me?" And I said, "Absolutely." I just like without even thinking, I was like, "Yeah, I got so nothing going on." So you just packed your shit up and was like, "Like we we like realistically planned a day that we were oh, both yeah. gonna move at the same time." But yeah, like for yeah, the most part, kind of just this shit's making me we're, really we're both from Boston. We moved. To, well, I moved for Barstool, and then oh, Grace okay. also moved, and then she started working for Barstool too. Barstool's a Barstool's down the street. It's down the street. Yeah, I told you to go to Dave after. Yeah, it's on Seventh Ave. I need to go see Dave. Yeah, me and him need to have a nice chat. Yeah, he didn't have too many lovely words about you. No, he said something about who cares what I have to say. Excuse me, Dave. You tell him. Excuse me, Dave. Who cares what you have to say, Dave? Yeah, exactly, Dave. I yeah. do. I actually do. He he he, he writes my checks. <laughs> well, I just realized I have the he sponsor in the top right corner. <laughs> so you didn't care. I care. I've never heard a better pitch before, honestly. <laughs> tell him I said I care. But fair. I understand. I'm just and saying. I'm not about to go check him out. Yeah. I care what he has to say. I think we got off on the wrong foot when you asked me if I'd give him the hawk or no, and I said no. I told you oh, he was going to come for your ass. That. It's yeah. just, it's nothing personal. He's just older. I don't look at him like that. Yeah. I never said he was a terrible person. No, no, no. But now no. I'm saying kiss my ass, Dave. Mm. Um, now oh. see, what, see what happened, DP, man? See what happened? And like the Donald he Trump thing, care. everyone was like enemies. shitting on her. They was like, oh, she won't suck Donald Trump's dick. She hates him. Like, he's he's not not Muslim. I was like, dude, genuinely, what is happening, bro? Okay, we need to actually 
We need to lock in, bro. This is this shit is not entertaining, bro. Well, yeah, just because you said no hop, like, right well, yeah. <laughs> like it's nothing against them. I don't guess it's just they're old men. I don't want to spit on their dick, you know. <laughs> that's the only fucking catch with it. Yeah, that's bro. I don't think anyone wants to really get up all in Donald junk. I don't. No. Dude, after I watched the Family Guy episode, like with Donald Trump in it, I was a little scared of him. Like, did you see it? Like, he's like man, being like a creep a to Meg. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? I was like, is he really like that? I think so, yes. <laughs> or it's a cartoon. <laughs> I keep seeing all sorts of like edits of him on TikTok and they crack me up. Yeah, he he went on, what, the Nelk podcast? Yeah. 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 It's crazy. All these presidents are going on podcasts. Combos on Call of Duty. Yeah. yeah. It is just, it's nuanced. It's a new world. It's I'm going to end up watching this whole episode. That too, isn't she? Well, Alex you, Cooper is. Yeah. 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 Anytime you dip into politics. Um, yeah. Kamala's husband wanted to come on our podcast. We said, no, thank you. Yeah. Um, no, not for any political reasons. Thing. We're just not the guys for that. Yeah. 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 Just, we're just, just, that's my thing. I can't talk about it. I don't know enough about it to talk about it. So yeah. I don't want to look like an idiot and be like, Haha, yeah, run for president. Yeah. yeah. We were just like, not our not our stick. Not, yeah. Not, not our circus. Not it our was monkeys. Kamala, we would have. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. different. But I, I don't know if we can conduct that, honestly. If I'm being completely I honest, I don't think we could do like that. I what she was like in high school. That's all we care about for anybody. That's all we ask yeah. people. Like when, Even when like we yeah. had Dave on our podcast, we were like, so what were you like in high school? And he's like, who cares? What was Dave like in high school? Um, sounds like... He said he was the same. The same, yeah. Still Shoving asshole. people Still, in lockers. Yeah. Baseball guy. Smoking cigarettes. Yeah. No, he hates cigarettes. I don't know if he smokes cigarettes. Wow. Mm -mm. He hates cigarettes. He hates Twenty percent done with the video now. <laughs> I think, you, I think it was the opposite bumps. of what you were thinking. <laughs> 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 I think he just like liked playing baseball, and we that was kind of like. So far, this is not what they look like. Oh on yeah, TikTok, we have high school Dave pictures. We asked his mom for pictures because um, we had him on our live show, and we like surprised him with all these like baby pictures, and he was like, "How the hell did you get these?" Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. The thing with him, I feel like he's nice off camera. Yeah, I, feel like I could so see that. He's like, nice. I seem like he's genuine, but then camera's on and he's like, let me talk my shit. I think you know? even on camera, he's not even trying to be mean. He's just brutally honest, which is I respect that, why though. I love him a lot. Yeah. Like, even if he's not right, he just stands by what he says. So I think I could. Well, he had me a little confused because he took up for me for like the Mets thing that went on. What? Well, so explain. I threw out the first pitch at the Mets game. When was it like a month or two ago? Mm -hmm. That's yeah, I was there for like That's a charity. First pitch at the Mets game? I mean, sure, I got to throw out the pitch. Was it a good throw? She called it, so Holy that's all that matters. Okay. I was scared I was going to like. You don't even live in New York. But I didn't. <laughs> but I donated to their charity they had going on there, and I was like, oh, you know, that's a good thing to go to. So we went to their game, you know, done stuff for their charity, and then they let us throw out the first pitch. I got shit on by the Mets fans. And then Dave took up for me. He was like, oh, she's doing like a good thing. Like, how are y'all being like yeah. bitches about it? Yeah, keep shitting on her, bro. He does like me. Deserved. He said something about how he does not ever I want to come on this podcast. No, I think he does like you. I think he thinks the same thing about BFFs. He's like, yeah. why does anyone want to listen to us either way? I think he's just like, podcasts are oversaturated. I don't think he meant it in a hurtful way. Okay, Dave. I think he just is a very abrasive man, and he gets <laughs> a little misunderstood. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. But I think he does like you because he said that about he loves anything charitable. He does a lot of charity work. So. He does. Yeah. I would never guess it. Yeah, I know. People think he's really bad, but he's not. <laughs> they we might could be friends, maybe. The yeah, funniness is friends. like. I write him a letter in the mail. Critically low. Like, right you accept my friendship. Yeah. I can send him a friendship. I'm losing him, brain oh, cells every minute. He'd probably be like, "What the fuck is this?" <laughs> Just toss it out. That's well, what I do. He's a Swifty, so he would he would like that. He is not a Swifty. <laughs> Yes, um, we need a verser on Dave. Yeah, yeah, this seems like the, uh, yeah, we gotta get him on here. Yeah, I feel like yeah, we just I need to sit down and down. conversate with him. Yeah, he's a very big Swifty, like die-hard Swifty. I would have not have guessed that. I wouldn't have either. You didn't know about his Eras Era Tour jacket? Uh uh So he had what even is this? So he made a jacket for Taylor Swift's concert. It's hand painted like all of the eras, and he passed it around to every single show. It went to every single concert. Like, oh my God. Even across into like Paris and stuff. So he's a fangirl. Yeah, he's a fangirl. I love that. Yeah. Wait, so what do you do? Like give it to someone or like? They would mail it. They would find someone at like one show and then mail it to the next show and like mail it. It went everywhere. That's kind of cool. the hood of the traveling Dave's jacket. Yes, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Are you guys fangirls of anything? Anybody? Um, I'm not a Swifty. Alright, I just went and took a little break. Because I just couldn't handle this shit anymore. Mm. 
Let's see what else uh, we have to offer. I like her old music. I haven't listened to her new music a whole lot. Yeah. She's got like one song. I think it's all too well, like the ten minute version. I really like that. That's a that's a banger. I like it. We're I could never Megan get on Maroney that train. Fans. Yeah. I like Megan Maroney. You like Megan Maroney? Yeah. I'll be honest. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I don't do well. Low key I'm kind sorry. of sounds like the type of guy that does music. Um, yeah, I, my music taste is either indie or house. I like either chilling or going absolutely crazy. Yeah, I don't think you're. I, I never would have guessed that. Yeah, what would I was you like, guess? She likes R&B. R&B. Yeah, it's that was my pants. first guess. I was like, yeah, she likes R&B. <laughs> my backup dancer pants. <laughs> R&B. You kind of like R&B. I guess I'm R&B. Yeah, yeah, I like R&B. I like R&B. Of course I do. I know. <laughs> so do you like country like music? <laughs> I don't, that Zach's? I don't really know. I like folk music. I don't listen to country music. Yeah. I don't think even considers that country music. What? No, he's like a different breed of country music. Like, I don't know how to explain rock his music, folk, but it's like, yeah. Indie, I don't know. Oh, but I'm not this. listening to like, I mean, I used to listen to Luke Bryan. Yeah. Like, Luke Bryan. <laughs> efficient. And <laughs> love it every that day. TikTok when I was a kid, I loved Luke Bryan, but there's not a day where I'm getting in the car and like throwing on a fucking Luke Combs song. Oh, yeah. What? No, I'd rather. I love Luke Combs. Like, Morgan Wallen is, there's not, no way. <laughs> you know really? Morgan Wallen? No. Mm. But it's not that I don't like them. I don't like that the music. The music, yeah. No. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. Political answer. Do you ever get in the car and just turn on Zach's music and be like, yeah, this is my man? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. I, it's weird. Why do you it's feel weird. like it's necessary to make this yeah, into a podcast? Yeah, Boston. Bro. Boston girl. Moose was sniffing all up on. Yeah, you should have brought Boston. I know. That would have been such a good idea. She's kind of crazy, though. Yes, sir. Yep. Look, the problem I see with this podcast is like... This is less of a podcast and more of just like having an everyday conversation, like for real. Why do you, why do you feel it's necessary to post this on YouTube for the world to see, bro? Just this is just like your casual conversation with your friends, bro. Like, like this is not like I don't. I'm po- lonely. Podcast don't care. Yeah, <laughs> I, I'm thinking about getting pets. Do you have any pets? Yeah, I have. <laughs> I have um, I have three dogs. Oh wow. Yeah. How, uh, what what are their names? I got Maggie, Coda, and Josie. Oh, yeah, Maggie's adorable. my child. Wow, what pets? I never heard about this. You're thinking of getting pets? You're lying on camera? I'm just like, you know, I just... What would you get, a squirrel? I can see you having a finger monkey. What the oh, fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> you never seen a finger monkey? What's a finger monkey? I could actually see you having You've a finger monkey. you never seen a finger, finger, finger on my face. With this white arm in the back? <laughs> That'd be perp. <laughs> Yeah, this is not just sound like they're sitting down at a bar and having a casual talk with each other, bro. You. You would, I didn't even know they were real or chinchilla. Oh, chinchillas bounce That's off the wall. A she would kill it. Uh, she hates that shit. I hate that She stuff. hates hamsters <laughs> and like stuff like That's that. That's my apologies. I've killed my hamsters, too. Finger. I've had like three or four different hamsters. They all die tragic ways. Well, I have like cuteness aggression. Like it's so little and they just look at you. You want to squeeze it to death and kill it? That's a finger monkey. You, what, oh, let's camera. go back to that. You squeeze to death your hamster to kill it? Uh, well, I have like a cuteness aggression. Do y'all have that? Oh, I do like, that to my dog. I'm like, like, you just want to punch yeah, him in the face? Just, yeah. I don't, yeah, I don't know. I'm a squeeze, maybe. That's what kills me. We'll get off like a plane or something when the airport and we'll see like little kids in front of us. I'm like, they're so cute. I just want to kick the shit out of them. Mm-hmm. We want to kick the shit out of them for other reasons. What, what is this? Get kids. Oh, oh hey. Like, I don't like kids either. Loathe entirely. <laughs> I never <laughs> wanted to be that lady. I like a cute kid. There's oh. very specific kids that are cute. There's just those little kids that like turn purple when they cry and they're just oh, like sticky yeah. and shit. Which Major pause. What? What? Little kids that like turn purple when they cry and they're just oh, like sticky yeah. and shit. They turn purple when they cry and they're just like sticky and shit, bro. I I can't watch this anymore. Uh, this is this is this is not good for my mental health. All right, you guys, please tell me how to stop like getting these like sex ads on YouTube and um, I I need to end the video, bro. I genuinely I don't even know what's going on anymore. I. I'm I'm just gonna see you guys like soon. I what the fuck, bro? Yeah, this is getting disturbing, bro. Like I I can't watch this anymore. I I I can't, bro.